Hi, I'm Gordon Pelton. I'm a portrait artist. I live in Medford, Oregon. I'm making this video today to tell you about something that's very exciting. I've devised a means of creating portraits in three dimensions. A portrait in three dimension is like a two-dimensional portrait, one that hangs on the wall, except that there's a third dimension that comes right out of the painting straight at you when you look at it. Now those behind me are some of my portraits in three dimensions. I use screws for the third dimension. I'm going to tell you a little bit more about how I do that later on, but right now I want to show you a short video that will allow you to see these up close and also to look at them from the side, kind of from a, an acute angle. Uh, that view will allow you to appreciate the third dimension, what it looks like and really what it do, does for the painting. So sit back now, enjoy that video, I'll be right back. Hello, I'm back. I hope you enjoyed that short video. I hope you also had a chance to appreciate the unique appeal that a third dimension adds to a portrait like those that I make. I mentioned that I use building screws to affect that third dimension. Those screws go into a three-quarter inch sheet of plywood, which I have built out to about two inches by adding foam core board in the back. And each screw has to have a hole. Now those holes are one eighth inch holes and they're drilled about three eighths of an inch apart. Once the holes are all drilled, I insert screws into the holes. I use about three different lengths of screws, anywhere up to four inches. As I'm putting the screws in, I adjust the depth of the screw so that the face of the screw, the head of the screw, uh, represents the art object that I'm modeling. Once all the screws have been adjusted to the correct depth, I paint the heads of the screws, and then I add an oak frame to finish it off. Now on the next screen, I'm going to give you my email address and my website, just in case you want to learn more about me and my art, or in case you want to contact me. Thank you very much for watching this short video. I'll see you later. Bye.